morning. This is my dining room. And actually, I do very little eating in the dining room. I usually eat dinner in the living room. I have these little cute Lucite TV trays and I pull them out. Here, I eat like once a year when I have people over for my Misfit Thanksgiving. But I do start every single morning at this dining room table. So after I make my morning tea, I bring my laptop in and I just check in on emails, usually before I go to the gym because I don't like to work out like thinking about a bunch of work stuff. Or if it's not a gym morning, I'll just crank out some emails, get my to-do list going while I wait for my friend Marcus to drop off his dog, Campbell. Campbell, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen Campbell. She's a little Shiba Inu, and she has been best friends with Yoji since they were little puppies. She comes over every day while Marcus is at work so the dogs can hang out because my office is right across the hall. So once Campbell gets here, I close up the laptop, get my bag. This is the best bag ever. Check this out. My Balenciaga fringe bag. So this is like my badass work bag. Put all my things in here, my planner, my little markers, and I literally just throw it over my shoulder and I grab my cup of tea and I walk across the hall to the office. So that is actually how I use this space the most. But I do love having a formal dining room. That was one of the things that really attracted me to the space. I have wild fantasies of like actually having people over and having gatherings, which like I said, I do it like once a year for Thanksgiving. One of these days I'm gonna have a game night. It's gonna be epic. But I just love the open flow from the living room to the dining room and it just looks pretty. So this, I just remembered this. This is so funny, I'm putting my tea away. This is so funny. So I used to have a, like a rectangular wooden table it had this um, kind of like chrome strip down the middle and I just got tired of that table. It kept getting dinged up. I was sick of it. And this marble table, another Craigslist find. If you remember from the living room, my coffee table, Craigslist find, another Craigslist find. But this used to be next door at the office and I decided I want this table over here in my house. So me, and two of the girls that worked with me, we decided that we could carry a marble table across the hall into this apartment. Uh, that was a moment. <laughs> we had to take it apart. This is the heaviest table ever. We had no man helping us. It took hours and it was very dangerous, but we got it done. So I'm pretty proud of that accomplishment. These ghost chairs, I didn't want to take up too much space visually. Uh, when I have a bigger place, I declared this was my last rental when I moved in because the next step is Lauren in her badass baller house that she purchases. But hopefully in that space, I will have a bigger dining room where I can have some like cool fabric chairs and just take up more space visually. But here, I didn't want to take up all that space, so I got these ghost chairs. Uh, ready for a little bargain secret tip for the home? These are from Amazon. I Amazon primed these freaking ghost chairs. They were not expensive. Of course, they're not like real ghost chairs. I don't care. And they were sent here within like a day or two. So I really like those. Um, this is from CB2. <laughs> this is another instance where this piece of furniture used to be at my office. If you look back at some of my old videos, uh, you could see this in the background. I think in my Seven Deadly Sins series, you'll see this piece of furniture in the background because this used to be in the office. I strong-armed this piece of furniture from there to here all by myself. So in here, I won't open it because it probably looks scary. Whoops. 
Yeah, it's, it's borderline scary. I don't keep very tidy inside of things. But this is all of like my good dishes for Thanksgiving. I even have Halloween dishes. I'm like kind of a geek for, for themed things. So all of like my nice dishes or vases that I don't have set out at the time, I just kind of keep in here. All my extra tea sets, I'm a tea set fanatic. I keep those in here. Um, but I like having this buffet because when I do have people over for Thanksgiving or the game night that I've never had and one day will have, I can set out snacks and it's just dope. These lamps, home goods. I was visiting my family in DC and I saw these at home goods and I was like, I have to get these back to Los Angeles. So I probably paid more than the lamps cost to get them shipped back to LA, but it was so worth it. And when me and my boyfriend broke up and we, you know, obviously I moved out and blah, blah, blah. He wanted these lamps and I was like, no, I get these lamps in the, in, in the, in the split. These are my lamps. Uh, little birdie artwork. I always rearrange. So if you watch me on stories, you know that this looked completely different not that long ago. Um, I just like to move things around and just kind of change up the energy. And I like this. It's kind of a less is more situation. Over here, this piece of furniture, this is from CB2. I had this in my bedroom at one point. I had it in the hallway at one point. And then recently I just moved it into here just as a, an area just to add like knickknacks. I'm kind of a, a knickknack junkie. Uh, my skull. You've also seen this in the Seven Deadly Sins series. I got this as a little prop for that video and said, hey, let's stick her right here. These pictures, home goods finds, they used to be over here as evidenced by my bad patch job. I thought I was touching up with the right paint. I wasn't. And I just left it that way. That's how I live, people. A little off from perfect. Um, but I didn't want to hang them up, so I just kind of set them here. A little tic-tac-toe. Sometimes I like to challenge my guests. Yoji has a bed in every room of the house, so there's his dining room bed, because sometimes he likes to watch me work on my laptop. Um, what else? Oh, this. This is the Google Home. Look, it's lighting up. I never use this thing. My brother got it for me for Christmas last year, and I never remember to use it. Sometimes I do. Let's, let's, let's do it now. Hey Google, what's the temperature outside? The current temperature in Los Angeles is 78. There is currently an excessive heat warning in effect. Oh shit, did you hear that? 78 degrees and there's a heat warning in effect. I really should use that more often. It's, it's actually kind of handy. Uh, what else, what else? Oh, here's some Lauren laziness uh, at, her, at its best. This little Chanel picture, it was in my bedroom, then it was in my living room, and then I just stuck it in the dining room, and it's hanging this low, literally, because the nail was already there. I think it looks fine. I'm not good at hanging pictures. Every picture I hang is completely uneven, so I have to have someone to come over and do it for me, or else we just deal with it being uneven. And finally, another area that I change out a lot is whatever my centerpiece is on the table. So I get super tray happy. I got this tray at Home Goods. And what I did for this arrangement, because sometimes it's really hard to um, make centerpieces and it's hard to arrange coffee tables, I will look on Pinterest, I will look in magazines for inspiration and I'll try to recreate. So I totally recreated this, I think from like a kitchen and bath magazine that I paid too much for at the grocery store checkout. And I recreated with the flowers and the candles and then I just added my own little doodads. My nerdy salt and pepper shakers from Target. Coasters also from Target. And then here's a splurge, the same um, company that I have my fancy pillow in the living room. Uh, I got the fancy candle and I hate to admit this but I bought 
three of these candles. This is a $175 candle. But it smells really good, and when you're done with it, it's a, like a permanent decoration. So another high to the various lows. Target, friggin' $200 candle. Boom, that's that. So uh, that's my dining room. Ooh, one more thing I should add. This lighting fixture, I had the most grandma sad, ugly looking fixture that came with the apartment. And I searched and searched to find an alternative. This, I found at Lowe's. It was like $100 and it looks totally fancy and it completely upgraded the space. You know, this is a rental and to me it was worth it to change out the lighting fixtures. Even in my living room, I changed out the sconces, I changed out the overhead light because it can make such a difference in the space because sometimes you just can't decorate around an ugly ass light fixture. So that lows. You just never know. You have to look in the oddest places and you can find something dope. So that is my living room. Thanks for coming along and I'll see you in the next room. Laura Messiah. So I'm Laura Messiah. Hello. <laughs> Here I took a oversized Dodgers jersey, which is for a man. Yeah. Put a belt over it and that. some heels. We have just brought sexy back yes, you have. to the Dodgers. So, you know. I mean, the Puig jersey has never looked so good. Like this.